Hey guys, I'm back with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. It's been a couple weeks, I think, maybe a week or so. Um, I have a bunch of cool stuff, so I'm going to get right into it. With Cropsy Maniac, which is some great horror-themed death metal. It's quite thrashy, think ghoul, um, over on Tank Crimes Records, that kind of thing. If you like the whole horror and metal combination, which I struggle to believe many metalheads would dislike, it's thrashy, there's a lot of killer riffs, and that just completely reminded me, um, if I could do the alphabet well, this was put out on Cavernous Records, who also recently released the Garden of Eyes Eldritch Death Metal compilation, which is my death metal band, the four demos all cassette previously, and a brand new track on one CD, so if you want to grab that, you can from my store if that interests you, just figured I'd get that in there. But anyway, back to Cropsy Maniac, fellow horror kind of death metalers. Really cool stuff. Definitely check these guys out, especially if you like Ghoul, as I said. Next up, we have a couple of LPs. Um, so the first one, these are both from Mesako and Ojo, is Ossuary, the Supreme Degradation demo, repressed on vinyl. This is really gritty, kind of bolt throwery death metal. There's some doomy bits in there. So if you like Asphyx as well, definitely that kind of vein of old school death metal. Really kind of crawling tempos, this very mid-paced. Um, but yeah, if you like slower death metal, it definitely, it's not, I wouldn't go as far as to say Death Doom as such. But it definitely has some doominess to it and um, a lot of atmosphere. But uh, yeah, definitely some very good old school death metal. And next up, we have some more great death metal from Had, a new um, Danish entity featuring members of uh, De Acquisitor, I believe, and some other bands. This is the debut self-titled mini album, four tracks. Great Danish death metal. The name means hate in Danish. Um, all the song titles are in Danish as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like the kind of creepier death metal along the lines of De Acquisitor and those kinds of bands from Denmark, Frenolith, um, definitely check this out. It's tons of atmosphere. It's really kind of haunting and dark death metal from uh, a really a country that seems to be producing tons of high quality death metal, as you can see by my Undergang shirt. I've realised just then I said death metal about ten times in. Two or three minutes, but there we go. Um, that's the LPs, so definitely check out those ones from Mesako and Ocho. And next we have some really great spectral death doom. You know, spectral voice being a great comparison. Those kinds of bands. This is Void Rot. This is out on Everlasting Spew, who released... Um, Ah, the band's name escapes me. Convocation, amazing Death Doom as well. There seems to be some really good Death Doom over on uh, Everlasting Spew. And Void Rot, if you like that, Hooded Menace was the other band I was trying to think of. That kind of really cascading, atmospheric, actually quite relaxing in a way, but then really creepy and unpleasant and foreboding Death Doom. Definitely check out Void Rot. Some excellent stuff. Now we have some good old classic heavy metal from Lady Beast. Absolutely phenomenal band. If you like stuff like Angel Witch, all those kinds of bands there. Witch Find, Tigers of Pantang, Lars Rocket maybe in there. Uh, all those kinds of classic big riffs, anthemic choruses. Uh, the song Metal Machine, which is the opening track, I believe. Yes, I got that right. <laughs> it, it really sets the tone of the album with some early accept kind of Killer riffing, great work from the whole band. This is on our Reaper Metal production. So um, if you didn't see, I went and did an episode of Hellcast with Reaper recently, which was really fun. We got to talk about black metal, which I guess um, isn't as common as death or thrash over on uh, Hellcast. So if you like black metal and want to see more of it on Hellcast, go check that out. There's um, Album War, which was the early Annihilator stuff. Never, 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 Neverland vs. Alice in Hell. So if you care which one of those me and Reaper each prefer and want to get involved, go check that out. And while I'm on the subject of Reaper, we have a new release from him and these Canadian Death Thrashers in Assimilation. Now, I don't really need to tell you what Death Thrash is, of course. Um, 
the early bands like Possessed, uh, Mantis, Pre-Death, uh, those kinds of, those bands when thrash metal just got that bit more fucking heavy and became death metal, there's that split second where it just sounded like this, which is just kind of a bestial charge of unforgiving riffs and blast beats and no idea what the hell is going to happen because the bands didn't um, assimilation nail that sound. It's truly some of the better death thrash that now it's that late 80s kind of despairingly heavy material without necessarily, there's not really much down tuning or low tones or tight production. It's all just in how tight the riffing and drums are. The gross vocals just killer stuff. Next up, we have some very nice German black metal from Catharsis. Now, this band, I guess, a lot of black metal fans will know. So I sort of was deliberating whether or not they should be in this video because, as I said, they're a very important German black metal band, one of the uh, pinnacle bands of Norma Evangelium Diaboli, I would say. And a uh, very inspirational band, if you like kind of weird, raw stuff like a uh, craft with a lot of groove to it. Catharsis, in my opinion, just really do nail that grooving, yet so piercing and fierce black metal. And I thought, you know, maybe everyone's going to be like, dude, we know Catharsis, what the hell are you doing? But then I thought, well, if someone doesn't, then they deserve to be in here and get that one new fan. So definitely check out Catharsis if you like that kind of black metal. Next up, we have Evoke from Norway with their new Seeds of Death record on Pulverized Records, which I've already got a crack through, probably happened in transit. Um, these things happen, you can recase jewel cases very easily. Now, Norwegian Black Thrash, of course, I always mention Death Hammer, Condor, Aura Noir, and for good reason, those bands rule. And Evoke definitely deserve to be up there with them with catchy, ripping songs maniacal solos, fearsome riffs, hammering drums. It's that stunning mix of 80s classic heavy metal with extreme metal in the black thrash and speed forms. There's tons of groove, tons of bite. There's just, it's a fun record. It's about half an hour, 35 minutes, I think, kind of length. I've already listened to it a few times and I really enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy black thrash, definitely don't miss out on Evoke. Once again, Norway nails that sound. And um, next up, another band I think, if you're in the know, you're in the know, but a lot of people may not be, and that is Messiah, who have just dropped their new album called Fragment. They're from Switzerland, of course, and while we know there's a lot of classic bands from Switzerland, need I mention Hellhammer, of course, Messiah, uh, one of those bands who played Death Thrash in that classic style I mentioned with Assimilation, they're a long-running band, but... Um, they seem to be somewhat overlooked and a, a quite a divisive band, but I think these guys rule. I think they do Switzerland and that kind of dark, creepy scene where Switzerland doesn't seem to have drawn the line between death, black and thrash metal yet. And Messiah definitely walked that line. Really good stuff. Ferocious new album, which was preceded very recently by an EP, which is also really good. I just realized I have something else to grab and show for the next band. As you can see, I don't edit my videos, um, which is Gut Void with their debut demo or EP, um, Astral Beastery. They were kind enough to send me the CD and the tape. I don't believe there's a vinyl LP yet, but um, it's three songs, two normal songs, I guess you could call them, and then an instrumental song. Blood Harvest put both of these out. Now, if you like that stuff like Void Rot, who I mentioned earlier, Spectral Voice, um, Otwatum from Canada which is another good example, Ossuarium. Now it's all coming to me, you see, it does happen. Um, Gut Void really do nail that creepy, cosmic, skull-engulfing death metal that truly is phenomenal. Really great first release. They've just dropped a new single as well, which I definitely recommend checking out. They're from Canada, um, if I didn't mention that. Absolutely fantastic stuff. So yeah, thanks again to uh, the various people who have sent me stuff for this video. Um, if you want to send me stuff to review or check out, uh, I'm not sure if I've even mentioned this, you can email me. There's a contact form from my website. But do not harass me and keep going, dude, when are you going to review it? Because I get sent 50, 60 records 
like um, press kits to download and check out every day. I'm a human being, but I will do my best to check it out. If I dig it, I may get in touch and be like, yeah, I'm going to review this or whatever. So anyway, enough of my benign waffling. That is 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Check out all the bands as usual. Support the labels. Uh, if you do want to check out the Garden of Ice CD I talked about, you can do so on my AHPN Records Bandcamp or the Cavernous Records Big Cartel and check your local distros. They will be popping up all around the world um, thanks to Chris's magic work. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, stay metal.